what is up you guys welcome to another plant video we're here with good plant vibes only today we're going to see what lowe's has we're here in the garden center so we're going to see what plants are here at lowe's for fall winter season and some good first time plant moms and dad choices so if this sounds like something that you're interested in do not forget to join the gang subscribe share my channel and thumbs up the video let's go ahead and see what's inside of lowe's Okay, now starting off, this is a easy plant for first time plant moms and dads. This is the aloe vera, full to partial sun, 598. The good thing about plants is they'll let you know how much sun that they need. Um, they care if it's good for pets and how much water that it may need. So 598 is actually a really good $5.98 actually is a good price for this aloe vera. And it has medicinal purposes, which is good. This. It's actually really cute for $10.98. This is actually a huge cactus. I would definitely purchase this. So cute. Actually, I think I might purchase one, even though I just got a new cactus. These right here, full sun, six to eight hours or six plus hours. Bunny ear cactuses. Oh, these are so cute. Now my idea pot that I like potting in now are terracotta pots. Really good for cacti. Um, plants that can actually go a long time without being watered. So anything that can fully dry out, your best pot would definitely be a terracotta pot. And as you can see, Lowe's have a lot of different varieties of terracotta pots here, different sizes and they even have the trays, especially when you're watering. Got the little drip tray. But terracotta, for aesthetic reasons, are definitely a good choice so you can have a cohesive look with your plants. Found the bird of paradise and it's huge. This is actually my wish this plant. I have a small bird of paradise that I got from one of the nurseries, but I would love to have a huge bird of paradise. This looks like it is a white bird of paradise and it's a flowering one. So bloom season would be summer and fall. And they can grow so tall, six hours of direct sun. 
So this is something where you definitely want to have enough sunlight. You're going to leave it outside. The leaves will probably scorch, but that's just the beauty of having a bird of paradise. But if you are in the inside and you want to have your bird of paradise inside, that's okay too. But here's some smaller ones for 20, 29 98 You definitely need a lot of light for bird of paradise. But if you're looking for one of those big tropical plants, that would be one of the best plants you can probably buy. Other than, of course, monsteras. But can't go wrong with a bird of paradise. your house plant needs let's go through their plant selection and see exactly what they got and if it's affordable for first-time plant moms and dads this is something that you guys probably need to rescue okay seven dollars and 98 cents not really a bad price for this money tree it's a baby money tree you can definitely bring this back to life just i really don't know if it needs water or if it's over watered but with money trees during the summertime i try to water money trees like maybe I want to say maybe twice a month. Wintertime, once a month. So it depends on how much sun you're getting. And so it looks like this one may be getting a little bit too much water and not enough light. So that's the reason, you know, for the for the leaves. All right, here is a snake plant. Really nice size snake plant. $20. I wouldn't pay twenty dollars for this. This was like maybe. <laughs> oh my god! Shut up, lady. Okay, back to regular scheduled program. I wouldn't pay twenty dollars for this. I would probably pay like maybe ten dollars for this. But once again, you're paying for the pot. This actually is a good plant. It's actually a nice, healthy plant. And this one is $16.98. I would actually buy this for $16.98. Low key, I'm thinking about buying it because it looks that good. So I just, I just may hold on to this plant because I think I may want this money tree. All right, come with me. Disclaimer, I'm gonna be talking over the intercom. So hopefully you guys can hear me, okay? Here's some other hanging baskets. But you guys know that I love a good hanging basket. Here's a good plant you guys can buy. A scandaptus, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But this is a hanging plant. They don't require a lot of maintenance. I just don't know the actual total care of these things. I had one, but I had it as a cutting form and it passed away. So I really would like to give this another try, but I just can't right now.
call a tan rex begonia now i'm probably going to look this up a little bit later and see that this is probably some type of exotic or rare plant but it just looks really i've never seen a plant like this and i'm going to pass it up because i don't know if the plant is healthy or if it's dying you guys tell me in the comments do you guys have this plant it looks like it's some type of um very variegation or mixture of something so i've never seen this plant in my life as you guys can see this is a mixture of plants we got some money trees back there some fiddly figs some type of palms a whole good mixture got some orchids over there and a whole gardening kit which i need to get in by the way get into for the summertime on this side over here, over here we got some more palms some fiddly figs some snake plants all great first time plant mom and dads these are plant friendly we got some monsteras some swiss monsteras over there which look really healthy if you can get to it um they're back in the back over there Right here, we have the infamous rubber tree, another one of my dream plants or wish list plants, which I probably should have been bought one, but I don't know what the weight is. But this is only $16.98. I will get this in my collection one day. I just need to be ready for it. Not sure what's the whole thing, but I love rubber trees. Okay, right here guys, we have some smaller plants here um, by Urban Jungle. It looks like they're like maybe three to four inch pots. We got some crotons, some rubber plants, got a philodendron, ZZ plant, all some baby plants which are good for first time beginners as well. Small pots. The price is $13.98. I personally think that's a little bit overpriced, maybe seven or eight dollars, maybe ten dollars. There's still some good starter plants. But if you look at the pot, look how gorgeous the pot is. That's what you're paying for. That's actually a really nice pot. And this is a ZZ plant. This is actually a cute plant. I would actually purchase this because the pot is hella cute. Right, we're going to close the video guys because it's a little loud as you can tell in the video but i want to thank you guys for all the support you showed me on my last plant video at home depot go visit your home depot or your lowe's i'm definitely bringing you more plant content once a week and i hope you guys enjoyed the video do not forget to thumbs up this video share and most definitely subscribe to good plant vibes only i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.